This studio vlog is brought to you by Skillshare. I'll cover a bit more of what I've been learning on the platform lately, but let's go ahead and jump into the content. Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Sheena and I'm a digital content creator and Etsy shop owner based in New York City. Now it's been a few weeks since I posted a studio vlog because I just haven't had a ton of new content to share with you guys, mostly because I've been a bit uninspired. So throughout the studio vlog, you'll just see me finding new ways to kind of reignite my passion for creating and just kind of getting back on track. And I'm starting this vlog with packing some Etsy orders. I know how much you guys love these packing montages so I hope you enjoy. So one new thing I am implementing into my Etsy orders is this new thank you card that I made using Canva. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's just an online like version of Photoshop that is completely free and user friendly. If you guys want me to do a little mini tutorial of how I use it, let me know below. But I think these thank you cards have come out so cute and of course, completely free. vlog and welcome back so as you guys can tell i am pretty dressed and i'm ready to go out and run some errands so i figure why not take you guys with me um to be honest if you've been a viewer of this channel the reason i haven't been on just more often with these vlogs is i just have been in this like really ridiculous slump i'm just not feeling myself when it comes to my business and my goals and even just personal shit like cosmetic stuff um we all go through it and so Unfortunately, when I'm not feeling well, I don't want to be on camera, and so it's like a double-edged sword. But I'm feeling a little bit better today, not 100%. I still kind of feel like a fucking potato, but I got up, I got dressed, and it's a beautiful day, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. I really want to go to the library and pick up my new library card and start to make this more of a normal thing for me, and then I'm gonna try to run some errands as well. So I figured, why not take you all with me, and I hope you enjoy. So just like many creators, when I'm feeling uninspired with my work, something that really helps me is to get inspiration from somewhere outside of the art realm, especially because you start to compare yourself to other illustrators and creators, and that definitely does not help. So as of late, I've been getting back into reading. I was definitely a bookworm when I was a kid. I would spend so much time reading. I would finish a Harry Potter book in like a day, and I've honestly gone months without reading through a complete book, and so I've decided to go to my local public library and get a new library card. I know most of you are like, so what, who cares? Everyone has a library card. But this is new for me, especially being back in New York as an adult, I have not had a library card. And I'm definitely into fiction lately because of course they are made up storylines and characters and I'm in the process of trying to make up a lot more of my own art and content. So this has been really good for me.
guys, so I had to switch to my phone, but it's done. I've got my books and I officially have a library card. I'm so proud. So I'm gonna go home, get these sanitized, and I'll show you what I got. So I just stumbled upon this random stationery shop and you guys, it was so freaking adorable. Like this stationery shop are like what dreams are made of. And if most of you guys know me, you know that one of my dreams is to own a small stationery shop in New York City. So this gave me so much inspiration and I was also able to snag a few products I'll be including in my Patreon. So stay tuned for that. So once I finished up in the stationery shop, I decided to pop in next door to one of my favorite bookstores just to kind of check things out and again, just change my scenery and find some new inspiration. And I also ended up picking up a few books. Now I'm not going to become a booktuber or anything, so nothing to worry about, but if you guys are interested in reading and seeing what I'm reading, I'll definitely be sharing them in my favorites and I also have a Goodreads account that you guys can follow below. So this is the next day and like I've mentioned in my four ways of getting out of a creative rut, I like to clean when I'm really, really feeling stumped. And so luckily I have the help of my other half and we are cleaning out our main closet just to make more space for new items and also some stuff from my shop to make it more accessible, which will motivate me to get work done. And moving on to another day. I know these pieces are kind of like thrown together, but again, I just picked up the camera when I felt comfortable and remembered to vlog. So here I'm just rearranging some stickers in Photoshop. I have made a new June sticker pack based on Paris. If you guys have not seen it, this is a little image of what it looks like. I think it is so adorable and I'm glad that I finally found some new inspiration to actually create. And if you want to see how I'm using these stickers in my bullet journal, I do have a new June monthly spread that you can check out. Now while I set up my Cricut to begin cutting these stickers out, I wanted to take a quick moment to thank our video sponsor, Skillshare. If you have been on this channel for some time, then you know this is by far my favorite partnership because I really do believe in the platform and everything that they offer. If you've never heard of Skillshare, they are an online learning community with over 25,000 classes in different topics from design, business, marketing, even how to open your own Etsy shop. Now, while I love just poking around on the Explore page and seeing what's new on the platform, I know so many of you are looking to start brands or businesses and may need more dedicated courses. And if that is who you are, then they do offer a premium subscription, which gives you access to high quality classes and focused communities to get you started on whatever it is you are trying to perfect. So whether you're someone like me who has been in the creative field for some time but looking for new inspiration or someone who is completely new to this and looking for beginner courses to get them going, Skillshare is going to be perfect for you either way. And with an annual subscription of less than $10 a month, you cannot beat it, you guys. I always say it is super important to invest in yourself and this is definitely a platform where you will get back what you pay for. And to help you guys get started on the platform, Skillshare has partnered with me to offer the first 500 subscribers two free months to check out the platform, which is amazing. Just imagine all of the new things you can learn in two months to apply to your own brand or business. So go ahead and sign up below and join more than 7 million people learning on Skillshare today. All right, 
guys and here is the finished product i absolutely love how it turned out and to be honest with you these monthly packs are getting a lot easier to make just because i'm getting a good solid process down and figuring out my color schemes and things like that but definitely one of my favorites and if you guys want to get your own i will also have a link to my etsy shop below so it is the next day and I wasn't going to include this part because it just seems very boring um, but I wanted to be transparent on what it is that I do and how I make money as a freelancer. So as you guys know from my how I make money as a freelancer video which I'll link below a lot of my work comes from client work so people who are hiring me to do illustrations for them logos it work and right now that is my focus over the etsy shop because your girl has bills to pay and any money that i make from my client work usually goes back into my etsy shop for supplies new things like that so right now i'm just writing up a proposal for a customer who is looking for some it tech support with her apple products and also some website domain work and i'm also sending out two proposals to two prospective clients who may need some illustration work. So I'm feeling really motivated today and happy to get that out of the way. And so now I am setting up a flat lay to take pictures of those Paris stickers that I created yesterday. And all you guys see me doing here is peeling off this stencil that I made with my Cricut. So I'm not sure if many of you know this, but if you have a cutting machine, you can basically just put in a piece of cardstock, find a PNG image or whatever it is you're trying to cut and just simply cut them out to create stencils like this. Now, before I produce an entire video on flat lays, which may take some time, I did wanna give you guys like my top four tips to really getting a beautiful flat lay and photo for your Etsy shop. The number one thing is the lighting. You have to get the lighting under control. So if you do not have good natural daylight, like maybe you're in an apartment where the window faces like a brick wall, I've been there, then you have to get some artificial lighting. Amazon has some amazing options that are pretty inexpensive. I will list the ones that I've used below, but it is super, super, super important to have good lighting. The second thing is what is your backdrop? If you have a super busy backdrop or one that clashes with your product, it is not going to work. And my rule of thumb is always to go with a white background. You can't go wrong. So if you guys are looking to get a white background, I say go to your local art store and get one of those huge poster boards, like the ones you used to use you know, for science projects and stuff. They work amazing. Or if you're someone who doesn't wanna buy a poster board and wants something a bit more fancy, you can get some marble contact paper and just put it over a piece of cardboard or over that poster board and get a little bit of a fancier background. The third thing are, what are your props? So either go with no props at all and just have a plain white background or make sure that your props fit the setting. So having random items in the shop that do not have anything to do with the product is going to be super, super confusing for the customer. So as you can see here, I'm using mostly art supplies. I have a cutout of a story that I've translated in French to match the theme. And I also use my Cricut to cut out those little Eiffel Towers. So just staying in theme. And if you can't find anything that's in theme, do not add anything at all. And the final tip that I have is to not rush the process. One of the most tedious things about doing flat lays is that you have to keep moving things around to make sure they just look good on screen. So you don't wanna pile everything into the middle. You don't want it to spread out. You have to find like that perfect balance. And really it all just depends on your eye and what you're into. But I would say that is what takes me the longest amount of time is just finding everything and laying it out perfectly. But once you do, you will love your flat lay and you'll get Get better and better at it over time. All right, so moving on to the next day, I decided to get up and get some client work done. And I'm so excited about this one because this is a project that I'm doing for someone who really inspires me. Um, her name is Amber Burns and her channel and Instagram is called By Amber Burns. If you guys never heard of her, she is a booktuber um, and lifestyle content creator. And her content is just so aesthetically pleasing. Like if you wanna find almost like the booktube version of Sheena, it's going to be Amber. I just love everything that she creates. I have been to her videos and then we just happened to be following each other and she wanted to get a portrait done. So that is what I am doing here. And I know that so many of you have asked for an in-depth Procreate tutorial and don't worry, I am working on that. Um, but for now, I just want to show you guys how I kind of get through that process and what that looks like for me.
I finish this up, I just want to give you guys a few more updates on what's going on with me. Um, first off, I am considering going back to school. I know that's kind of weird um, because I'm usually someone who promotes, you know, self-learning and platforms like Skillshare. But when it comes to working um, for larger brands or even full-time for a company, a lot of the times they are looking to see competency, right? So if you want to be a filmmaker, have you gone to film school? Have you gotten certain certifications? And right now I don't have the certifications that I would like to have um, to be a video producer and editor. So I'm considering going back to film school, even if it's just part-time, to go ahead and knock out my degree. So I know that I've been blabbering on and on about starting a Patreon and you guys haven't seen that launch just yet because I am such a perfectionist and I also truly believe in strong customer service. So if I'm going to be taking money from you guys, I want to make sure that I am delivering on what I say I'm going to offer. And part of doing that is doing bulk work. So what that means is if I'm going to offer um, a podcast with my Patreon, I'm trying to record multiple episodes so I can just release them every single month without you guys having to wait on that. Um, I'm also working on sending out some goodie bags or some care packages to you guys. So snail mail. And that also takes time to make sure you have enough product and that you're curating it. So I will definitely be sharing how I set up my Patreon and what that looks like once it is officially launched. But keep your ears peeled. I promise there will be some more detail on that very soon. But as always, I really appreciate you guys just hanging with me and being patient with these videos. I wish that there was like a better excuse I can have like, oh, you know, I went traveling or I had a child, but there is nothing like that. I have just been in a mental rut and trying to get through it. And this is something that I think more creators and freelancers need to talk about because it really does exist. You are dealing with pressures of being creative and being able to produce product. And then also the finances that come along with working for yourself because you never get a stable paycheck so thank you guys for rocking with me and for understanding if there was any content that you want to see definitely let me know below because most of my ideas come from you guys and of course I want to produce content that you want to see so I hope this studio vlog was insightful. If you're reading any new books, definitely let me know below or follow me on Goodreads. And as always, don't forget to check out Skillshare. That link will be below and tell me what you're studying because I always want to know. I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.